And welcome back guys to the new LP And the LP is very good LP <laughs> And this LP is about, as you can see here, Great Battles of World War II Stalingrad Now this game is based on a Blitzkrieg engine And that's about it All in all it's a great game I consider it the Blitzkrieg game I guess you would call it uh, I mean it has still certain things again this is a blitzkrieg engine i guess i'm guessing the blitzkrieg engine thing where you have still the bad sight you know the vision cone bullcrap that you can't see an enemy that is in front of you uh, or you know something like that and our pet finding is still atrocious but a much better game than blitzkrieg actually a <laughs> fantastic game i played a little bit of soviet side you know like three missions or something I enjoyed it completely and you know uh, I didn't play the axis and so we're gonna go with the axis first and foremost and that's gonna be awesome so all in all let's go first in options and settings why there because of this you see difficulty level yes it is not hard it is normal difficulty corresponds to historical realism blah 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 you have easy or normal you do not have hard you wonder why well I heard that if you pass the game once, I don't know if that is like one side only, you get the you get to unlock the hard difficulty. Uh, thankfully, we won't, we won't be using hard difficulty this time around. We're gonna be using normal difficulty, and it's gonna be awesome. All in all, everything else is a okay. Now, the music that you hear in the background is the music from the game. This is one of the best, you know, perfect perfect soundtracks for the game it, it's so unbelievably you know you know like unique that I just don't have words it, it goes alongside the Southern Strike soundtrack for me it, it's that unique it's a fantastic soundtrack I love it uh, so let's go on a new game campaign and let's go with the axis first and foremost so if you actually follow the there is actually <laughs> I guess a storyline so to speak <laughs> because you go with the axis and then you go on to the Red Army so the Axis invade Stalingrad and before the invasion of Stalingrad, the in-between areas and then of course Red Army and of course destruction of the 6th Army. Uh, <coughs> so that's how like you would choose I guess the progression if you really want it that way. So again we're gonna be playing with the Axis. And of course the Wehrmacht, the Wehrmacht, as you can see on the right side you have the big big map of evil, as you can see Group Army B. As you can group army A, and of course you can see Stalingrad. And this is all before we move into the Stalingrad area. Much more before. <laughs> so let's do it. To Stalingrad, July 1942. Now these parts, I don't know how to read. I do not know. It's so evil, and I can, I can barely actually see the letter because I'm freaking blind also. <coughs> Mind you, I have four eyes. So anyway, in the middle of the summer of 1942, the situation uh, at the Soviet-German front became critical. After the failure of offensive operation near Kharkov, fall of the Sevastopol city and Crimean Peninsula, Soviet forces of the southern, southwestern and Voronezh fronts found themselves in a very complicated situation. Wehrmacht forces, recovered after a defeat at the Moscow, commenced a full-scale assault on the southern sector of the front. Germans were eager to capture Stalingrad and oil-rich Caucasia region. During the preparation for the offensive operations, Wehrmacht HQ divided group of armies south onto the group of armies A to attack the Caucasian, commanded by the Field Marshal List, 1st Tank, 17th and 11th field and 8 Italian armies and group armies B led by Field Marshal von Bock to attack on Stalingrad with 4th tank, 2nd and 6th field and 2nd Hungarian armies. The offensive operation started on June 28th and at the first stages it was very successful. By beginning of the July, Wehrmacht reached suburbs of Voronezh city while highly mobile 4th tank army was deployed near Kantemirovka and was supposed to continue the assault. At the same time, group of armies A started assault from Slavinsk and Artemovsk to Staro Starobelsk <laughs> and Kantemirovka, striking at the adjacent southwestern and southern fronts. 
By mid-July 6th, and 4th tank armies reached the bend of River Don and captured settlement Bokovskaya, Morozovak, Milerovo, and Kantemirovka. Detachments of the 1st Army at the same time advanced to the city of Kamensk. However, however, the evil but, <laughs> however, Germans failed to completely encircle and eliminate Soviet forces, since HQ moved troops away beforehand. Forces of the Southwestern Front were retreating over River Don to Stalingrad, suffering great losses. Southern Front moved to the lower streams of River Don so that they established defense on the left bank, from settlement Veka Kurmoyarsky to Rostov City. On the 23rd of July, Hitler, inspired by the success of the German forces, signed Directive N45, a continuation of operation called Braunschweig. According to it, the A group of armies received the entire 4th tank army and advanced to the Caucasia. The B group of armies, which only included the 6th army under command of Colonel General Paulus, was to capture Stalingrad. The troops of the 6th army were opposed by the divisions of Stalingrad's front, which was formed at the respective order of the General Staff on July 12, 1942. It included three reserve armies, 63rd, 62nd and 64th, and two armies of the former Southwestern Front, 21st and 6th Aviation. Later, the 28th, 38th and 57th armies were also added to the Stalingrad Front. By mid-July, the Stalingrad Front vanguards engaged the motorized spearhead of the 6th Army under the command of General Paulus, marking the beginning of Stalingrad battle. Whew. <laughs> okay, now we click yes and the new cutscene arrives. Enjoy it! They're awesome cutscenes. I mean cutscenes, yeah, cutscenes, yeah, scenes. Ah, oh, that hits, but... Some stuff. <coughs> God damn. Okay. So as you can see, we're here. Pronin. Something. Morozovsk. Getting close. <laughs> so Kutor Pronin, July 17, 1942. By mid-July, main forces of the advancing Germans returned to Caucasia, while Sixth Army, supported by the aviation, advanced to Stalingrad at full speed. Especially fierce battles took place near the bend of River Don. To stop 14 tank corps of Wehrmacht moving to River Chair, command of the Soviet 62nd Army moved forward 192nd Rifle Division and the end. <laughs> On 10th of the July, it commands forced march to settlement Sirotinskaya, covering a 100 km stretch. They reached River Don and established a 42 km long defense at the right bank, from settlement Klaskaya to Kalmykov. Division HQ was positioned at the settlement Verka Buzinovka. On July 17, Verga detachments of the 102nd Rifle Division, which included 676 Rifle Regiment and 1st Division of 293rd Artillery Regiment and 644th Armored Battalion, came into contact with the enemy at the settlement Pronin. During the following days, they had to retreat to defense lines of the main forces. Okay, as you can see, that's, this is where we are, we're the evil thing, the big, big, big white and black flag, and this is Pronin, the good guys. So, yes, <laughs> and of course, we see what the hell, blah, 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 okay. So, this is our objective, eliminate enemy, unbelievable objective. As you can see, this is where we are, we're gonna start around this position here, and then we'll take this position here. Okay, so after a long march across endless Russian steppe, our vanguard forces came into contact with retreating Russian troops. According to our reconnaissance, Russians have positioned a large detachment at a settlement called Kutor Pronin. 
they have established defenses at the outskirts of the settlement, across the bridge in advantageous positions that is presided by their anti-tank cannons. General Hu, commander of the 14th Armored Corps, order you to attack and eliminate the enemy. Keep in mind that their cannons, it'd be better to attack an enemy nearby chapel. Move along the road that leads to the northeast, and then enter the village from enemy's rear. After you have captured the crossroad, the Russians will be encircled, which makes them an easy prey for our tanks. So we're gonna go around this position, attack this position, then attack from this position and come from the gases. Good stuff. <coughs> Jesus, there are so many things to read, people. God damn. Oh well. Oh god. Okay. This is a cutscene, we can't do anything. Well, cutscene. Ah, you know, the thingy. The cinematic. Oh. Okay. As you can see, I can't do anything. There are many different tanks at this position now, at the beginning at least. And none of these tanks are core units. That, that is like immediate difference compared to blue, shitty Blitzkrieg. No core units. They are all core units, if you will. Everything matters, <laughs> so to speak, you know. I mean, I did pass this first mission, mind you. And that's only it. I did pass it a long, long time ago in Galaxy Far, Far Away. It's not this Galaxy much, so. As you can see here, we have a female and she's looking over this river if I shoot her probably I would win the game but we're not gonna do that at the moment so at the moment what we have are two motorcycle dudes our scouting unit if you will okay we have uh, we have our Panzer 3 E commander tank we he's more evil than anybody else and this is I mean uh, again it does I don't know if, if the freaking damage and penetration value are corresponding to the like if for instance if we have a tiger in front of us you know the attack power would, would be 88 right but i don't know if that actually you know covers this thing okay my job for instance pencil 4 f2 medium tank has a 75 millimeter gun man. Uh, <coughs> so maybe it goes like that not like in blitzkrieg where they just put the freaking number whatever and that's about it but we shall see as the time progresses. Anyway, as you can see, nonetheless, he has 30 everything and 12 on his upside. He has 8 penetration, uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, 8 attack and 8 penetration value. He is quite useless. Mind you, he is useless unit, unless you attack for uh, other soldiers, I guess. For that he is useful. But other than that, as a commander tank, pan uh, Panzer 3 e is useless. Yeah, because he doesn't have any better range than anything else <laughs> at all so you know that that's like one of those things that I'm like less appointed I mean I was hoping at least if you could be you know, like he's able to use binoculars or something and that would be awesome and now there comes BA 64 yes BA 64 as you can see that 8 doesn't do anything it gets a little bit closer we're gonna lose this motorcycle probably yes BA 64 wants to destroy us we're gonna send in our Panzer 3L version. They ain't gonna do anything against us. And again, lost one of the motorcycles. Um, <laughs> honestly, I don't care much about these guys. Not like they're gonna be any use. Yeah, I mean they don't have any useful kind of tactic in this game. I, I, they're just there to be, you know. Yeah. Anyway, as you can see, everything else is classical Blitzkrieg, and I mean classical and the interface is there. It's the same thing, you know. You know oh, that's about it. But other than that, again, performance-wise, uh, same, you know, like, everything moves the same, everything is the same, 3D terrain, 3D units, and all bullcrap like that. Another thing that is quite interesting in this game is, as you can see, we have trucks. The evil trucks of doom in Blitzkrieg. You know, the things that just spawn clones upon clones upon clones. Let's set up these guys near this hill. <laughs> What you're gonna see here is the most awesomest thing ever. First and foremost, at least on this mission, I did not notice this with Soviet, but again, I, when I played with Soviet, it was very long, long time ago, you know, galaxy far, far away, not in this one. So, we have, of course, per usual, we have two squads yeah. per vehicle. And yeah, as you can notice here, you do not have officers that have binoculars. Okay, first thing. Okay, cool stuff, right? Again, you have veteran units, grenadiers, you have every different... Like like MP717, 
submachine gun. I have no idea what that is, actually. <laughs> so, that's the first time I hear about it. So, anyway, you have MG42, guys. You have every Again, it's classical thing, but... You know, in the, uh, for instance, for this level, when I played, I actually dispersed the soldiers and they were useful. Especially for the, this part, because this is the part where it's gonna get a little bit tougher. Mostly because the enemy is entrenched in his positions. He's evil like that. Okay? So, that aside, again, no officers. First good thing, okay? I mean, they probably have, like, uh, lieutenants or some crap like that. I think this one, actually MP717, I think that is the, the officer, veteran, because he's the only veteran, as you can see, of all of them, they, he's the only veteran, so this veteran unit in the middle, actually, not behind like an officer, in the middle is uh, probably one of the officers, so to speak, but he does not yeah. have any binoculars, that's one thing. The other thing is, yeah. the cars, well cars, the, the trucks do not have uh, resupply manpower, so you, you, if they die, you're fucked. Okay, so you have to be very careful how you know use your soldiers. It's not Blitzkrieg. It's not that shitty Blitzkrieg, that shitty game that exists and doesn't exist in my mind anymore. It's the classical like sudden strike kind of stuff. That's beautiful. That's right there. That's beautiful. And it can only, as you can see, do the ammo stuff. Okay, great stuff. Classical stuff. Okay, now we have an engineering vehicle. As you can see, engineering vehicle only has repair. It does not have make trenches and all that. At least this one doesn't. I know that you can make trenches, I think. Uh, at least I did uh, with Soviets. <coughs> Maybe. But again, that was a long time ago in a galaxy, galaxy far, far, far away. Not this one. So that... Okay, so we have engineering vehicle, right? And yeah. this is where we get a very unique unit. This is a command unit, I would say. Because you have every single good stuff. You have an officer with Walter P-38 pistol. And you have a sniper. Okay? And the officer is the middle dude. And sniper is one of these bastards here. One of these bastards. Who, who are you? He's getting the MP40 SMG. 42. Oh, yeah, there he is. Here. This dude. Mauser 98 SR sniper rifle. This is gonna be the most useful unit you're gonna have. This is like that. And, and this is something. This is a command squad, okay? This is this command, the command squad. That's cool stuff right there. Because I respect that kind of shit, you know? Command squad. Like close combat, for instance, if you will. Command squad. Okay, that's cool. Respect all around. Now, hopefully that actually keeps <laughs> after this level and all that, you know. Of course, there again, no core units. Every unit is important. How you utilize them is important. And now, mind you, again, the maps are small. They do not have the SS thing. That's okay. Okay, that's okay. I don't look for the new SS bullcrap. That's okay. It does what Blitzkrieg didn't do. Does it right, and that's okay. Yo, that's cool. I love it. Nonetheless... That, this is what we have, this is how we're gonna finish the mission, that's gonna be awesome. So first and foremost, we're gonna send our command squad, well not yet actually, we have to secure this area. Here. First we have to secure the area, but not with the command tank. We're gonna send a Panzer 3L, he's gonna do this Let's job. We have the Panzer 2F version, he's gonna send him here. These three tanks are gonna be very, very useful. Yeah, Okay, my command squad is gonna do the binoculars and we can see the universal carrier. And that's about it. That's cool. Again, maybe a pet finding is a little bit better than the Blitzkrieg one, but still the vision cone bullcrap is still there. Again, I'm, I'm a little slightly better, but still. Okay, so the F2 version tank, I'm not gonna utilize him uh, at that front, on that uh, left side, I'm gonna move these three tanks on the right tank, okay? I'm gonna move them there. Okay? I'm gonna move them to this position. Because the enemy actually has a good entrenching position this part, as you can see here. This is where uh, they have a few tanks. I think they are T-34s. I don't remember, honestly, so... So we have the F2 version, the F1 version, as it is here, it is a much smaller as you can see this um, freaking gun and of course we have the J version Panzer 3 all these three tanks are good I mean let's be honest this guys uh, but the thing is the F2 version has a smaller armor I think is it a smaller armor? yeah no actually it does have better armor and a better attack yeah my bad the F1 version has only 50 armor up front uh, the F2 has 75 that's okay actually you see yeah all in all, F2 version, 
is the best. <laughs> now, the F2 version actually I've seen it in many games, I guess, a, especially in SS mods. The F2 version tank. So it's an awesome tank. Other than that, we shall be doing this. Okay, leaving our engineering trucks behind there. We're gonna be moving our L version, Panzer 3, to destroy that bastard. As you can see, also the Rangers are massive this time around. And, and, and what did they do? What did they do? As you can see, they abandoned with the crew. This is the crew members, as you can see. Tank men. I don't know if they were inside here. Because there's still someone there driving the damnable thing. Let's not waste them. Again, you don't have also one more important thing. Is that you do not have uh, the supply depots anywhere on a map. So what you have in a supply truck, that's it. So you have to be very, very careful. It does not resupply itself. There is no magical, for instance, like in SS, where your engineering trucks resupply themselves. If you leave them be for a time being, you know. That's cool. Kind of missing that target, though. That universal carrier. Strangely, he does not destroy that with one shot, but that's okay. I'm not, I'm not in a hurry, to be honest, because this is the part one of this LP. I mean, uh, I'm definitely, again... Maybe I stopped with Blitzkrieg, maybe I didn't. This is the future. <laughs> so, <laughs> I may be past, actually. Who knows? Anyway. Uh, so, <laughs> also what I like is that the actual uh, corpses, so to speak, well, corpses, the wrecks of vehicles stay for a very, very long time. Well, a, few, a little bit. But that's okay. Nonetheless, we have this, we have that. Now what we need is our command squad, our command squad, which is the best squad in the world. Let's move this uh, BMW motorcycle. Actually, let's see if he has any kind of use here. Let's move him onto the center of this plane, because the center of the plane actually is a perfect position where you can scout out the enemy positions on the right and the left. Now, what the good thing would be is actually move one of your command tank, for instance. Command tank, because again, he has only like 8-8. Eight, eight. So again, he's quite useless. Honestly, this is the most useless freaking tank in this game. At least uh, from what I've seen. I mean, it's quite useless. Also, save like a bitch. This is not one of those uh, Blitzkrieg bullshit where you can just get your stuff back. Save like a bitch. Get these guys down. Uh, of course, disperse them. First and foremost, disperse these bastards. This is your command Two squad, teams. people. Do not bullcrap about this. Also, the sniper does not have all uh, the freaking, um, Here. freaking thingy, you know. The, Super uh, the binoculars. So... Again, the most useful unit, the sniper and the officer. And that's the great thing to say. I mean, that's a big thing to say when a game is in the Blitzkrieg engine. Again, you see, he still has to, like, get up. And there, you see that? That's an officer. That's a Soviet officer, okay? Red Army officer, TTT pistol. So, we're gonna kill him. We need to kill him. So As you can see, he is actually watching towards us, so he sees what we can see. So you have to be very careful how to utilize this. So we have this MG, MP40 SMG, not very useful, uh, dude, but we can actually at least disperse them. Okay? Now, in this position, there is a lot of infantry near this uh, freaking chapel. So we need to be sure that these guys die, but uh, before that, we need to kill uh, the awesome, awesome sniper. Well, not sniper, the officer. The officer, yeah, the officer okay? You see, as you can see, he needs to get a bit closer to the enemy position, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to be moving my uh, most of my yeah, infantry and my, my heavy MG42 as a support. Sofort. Again, we're gonna control two. Get back. And there it is. There they are. As you can see, actually, the ranger. Again, rangers are big in this game. As you can see, that's only for our lowest gun. That's like unbelievable. Now, because of that, we can't really uh, joke around, so to speak. 
So we're gonna again move our MG42 a little bit up there. Let's move this veteran. Again, maybe not an officer, but again, I'm thinking he's like an officer because he's the veteran. Again, this is a veteran officer. So, yeah. Mind you, you can also still dig in, but it takes time, I think. So, as you can see, many uh, targets dead. We still see them. Thankfully, as I said, the vision thing is much better than Blitz Trick 1. This is really an upgraded Bloodstreak, I would say. I mean, I'm not really... Oh, let's not talk about Bloodstreak. Bloodstreak is a shit game. Okay, let's be honest there. Okay, it's a shit game. Bloodstreak is an awful game. The engine alone is beautiful, sexy, and smooth, so to speak, sometimes. But it's a beautiful engine. And underutilized, I think. But the people, what they tend to use are constantly repeat the same mistakes of Bloodstreak. Have bleeps on the map showing you where the mortar positions are. Mind you, this game also think has that. Which annoys the living crap out of me, but that's okay, I can say. Okay, you still have a like, better game than the Blitzry. Because it cuts into the core, there are no core units, they are all core units. So I have to be very careful with what I have here. It's not just send them out there, I can resupply them later on. You know, the man, we can, I mean, you have to worry about the supply and demand, okay? Because if you waste so much ammo, as now, for instance, for our right. commander tank, as you can see, we wasted, okay? That's 200, okay? 200 ammo, just in a few guys here, not all the entire squad. There's another dude still alive there. So you have to be yeah, very careful, be okay? So let's do this, control one as an officer. So Thankfully, we still have yeah, our awesome feeling. stuff. We're gonna be moving command tank a little bit here. Again, tell them to defend, so to speak. This officer needs to die. It's nice to see this because I mean it looks useful, you know. Like, Zofort. let's send the first. Let's uh, send a few guys up front. This Mauser 98K, MG 42s from the sides a little bit. You know, like this spurs them a little bit. You know, that feels cool. Mind you, they might be useless at some points, but still be cool because I you don't have to use the entire squad at once. Because again, you have to be very careful. You, I want to preserve my people, and as I always do when it comes to games, and especially strategy games, which, where you don't, you know, you don't, you have limited amount of people, and you have to control them and be careful. Yeah, how you use them. And that's okay. I like this. This is how he does this. And he, he, he's, I don't know what the hell he's shooting at. But he's shooting at something. Maybe this dude. Oh yes, he, <laughs> that's the dude that he was shooting at. I guess he, as you can see, he wasted a huge amount of ammo just in shooting the damnable thing here. Okay. Wow, almost. Well, actually, 50 only. But that's okay, still. Wasted a lot so of that MG 34 probably in him. So, anyway, so moving instant. our sniper again a little bit closer. Super we need to kill that bastard. Let's kill him. Let's kill the freaking officer. That was the entire point here. Kill the officer. They have another officer problem in this position. We can see the freaking trenches, of course, per usual. You know, as long as the officer is dead, everything Yavoy. is cool. Just to kill so that instant. officer, yes. Just to kill that officer, we need to do all this. And that's cool, I, I like right. that. Let's send the yeah, L tank here. Because again, he has a 75, oh sorry, 50 millimeter gun, I would say. Oh, let's yeah, go, let's go 50, well, 50 and damage. Here. Uh, there it goes, he's dead. Beautiful yeah, job, let's get him out of there. Super fear. Einsatzbereit. Okay, so let's see the range here. You see the range? If the enemy tank actually comes towards this position, we'll hit the nice spot because he still doesn't have range towards us. We're yet to see how it looks when you don't have when you only have a tank. I'm yet to see actually that also myself. You know, and see how much of you distance he has and how much view he can see around him. Mind you, even if maybe he has a cone around him, he may not see infantry behind him. Who knows? You know, who knows? Nonetheless, let's now move our soldier, well, officer, awesome officer. He's gonna still be using the like, lie down because that that is the most important command you can have in this game. Lie the fuck down and shut up like a little bitch. Uh, let's see what we can see here. So the officer is dead, so they don't have any kind of lookout, and that's good. They probably have another officer here. I think that they have the AT gun here somewhere, maybe maximum, 
Maxim or whatever, a machine gun actually. Still, I'm gonna be moving these guys. You get down also. So as you can see, I'm dispersing these guys and it feels cool. It feels sudden strong, uh, like sudden strike, slower, but still it's there. It feels good. MP40 do SMG dudes. It has, it has actually a nice range, but he not, doesn't have that yeah, Fanti, great range. As you can see, the carbine has a massive range, and everyone in the same position is mine. Fall back. We'll lure them in. As you can see, they are now they are coming. Now they're coming, and they're dying, like little bitches they are. Well, not really, because we're missing, and my MP40 dude wants to actually shoot at them. Yeah, Maybe my uh, my freaking car doesn't have any range on them. He does have range, actually. He so doesn't far. just shoot at them at all, because maybe he, because of the building, he can't shoot the wrong, kind of, wrong, uh, wrong part. Maybe, maybe get him a little bit close to the MP40 dude. He's gonna get a shot, probably. Again, the most important two units that I have at the moment are the officer and sniper. Again, a sniper is not a ninja. <laughs> it's not a ninja this time around. Oh, excellent. Now, finally, we actually see stuff there. As you can see, also, sniper doesn't shoot immediately by his, on his own volition. Because that's awesome also. I like that. This adds me, you know, uh, you know, gives me, actually, a lot of momentum in the, when I'm attacking the enemy. You know, I can actually utilize this as a... You know, like, kill from the distance, don't get too close. And it's not only the sniper that can shoot from this distance, you know, that's cool. So now we're gonna be moving this to squads here. Uh, actually, I have three squads. Four squads. <laughs> Four squads. We have squads. We're gonna be moving squads just to support. Just to support and nothing else. Uh, remember, I only have here, like, uh, best units. But I want to utilize my F2 version from the side as much as possible. Again, you can see the range. So let's use the F1 version on this side here. Shooting going on. As you can see, two guys are already dead. So it doesn't really matter that they have some kind of cover, so to speak. They're uh, unresponsive and, you know, they don't care that they're dying. That's okay. I don't mind that. Here. As long as my two most important units are not dead, everything is a-okay. Here. So here, MG42. Should I have one more MG42? No, I do not have one more MG42. I have one, most of the MP40s. We have that 717, uh, some machine gunner, the veteran. And there goes a shot from car. Fall back. Fall back. Yeah. Will he survive is the question. He will survive. Yeah. Now there of course there is still no bleeding like in Blitzkrieg. Uh, <laughs> in Southern Strike 1 or 2. There is no uh, bleeding. So even if they are low on health like this they are gonna stay dead. Yeah there is still that Blitzkrieg kind of stuff. But that's okay. That's okay. I don't mind that. It's just little things. But still. Doesn't matter, we still don't have any medical trucks, so anyway, it's gonna be useless, U I mean, to even try and heal him, we don't have any medics or something Here. like that. Zu Diensten. Sofort. Here. Zu Diensten. They wanna shoot that guy, don't they? But again, I think that of course it's per usual, if someone disappears, dies here, that is, other dudes take his place, so they're gonna kill the entire squad like that. That's okay. Uh, let's move this F2 version here. F F1 version is still there. That's okay. Now what we need to do is locate the enemy. I know you're out there, you bastards. Maybe we need a little bit longer time for my officer to actually look at this one place. Maybe he can start noticing stuff. Maybe I like that. That wouldn't be bad. Like, you know, like he has to like set up all that freaking thing and binoculars and the vision bull crap and all that. He actually, oh, wait, wait, there are a few people here also. Maybe it works like that? Maybe not. <laughs> Probably not, but still. Okay. Let's move our MP40 dude here. We have the MG42 dude here. 
As you can see, the range is massive. So reality, okay, uh, no ammo. Well, low on ammo. That is, as you can see. Uh, it seems that this one entire squad is probably dead. So. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Okay, let's move a little bit closer. Again, they have the AT guns in this position. Okay, this is still a a cliff side, so to speak. So, as you can see, there is a maximum. There is a max. Maybe the command actually tank has a good, better vision alongside with the officer in combination, so to speak. That's cool. So there is a maxim 7.62 millimeter sub well, machine gun. Uh, that's cool. Let's uh, let's concentrate with the sniper and kill those bastards. Again, remember, you cannot resupply those tra uh, those things with uh, com uh, with with the trucks. Okay, no no truck bullcrap anymore. This is pure sudden strike-ish thing right here. So they're dead. Don't expect any truck coming your way to uh, uh, to get this thing. Unless they use the entire squad and, you know, like, get on this thing. I do not think so, because I don't think the Blitzkrieg is capable of doing that. You know, that, that kind of function, so to speak. Maybe. But I'm yet to see it. So, yeah. And anyway, let's move this squad alongside the F2. One squad so alongside F1. Okay, I'm yet to remember the names of the others. So we have Panzer 3J and Panzer 3E. This is the 3E, and this is the 3L. Too many 3s, nonetheless. And of course, we have the 2F2, F2, the uh, Panzer uh, 2L version. So how are we gonna do this? But uh, remember, they have a tank. Okay, they have a tank. So we have to be careful first and foremost that this side is actually cleared. But as you can see, there are a bunch of body. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and they're noticing something more. It would seems yelling, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Okay, nothing. Doesn't matter. So let's move right, so our gosh. L version, Panzer Three, with a nice gun here. Actually, we're gonna tell him to actually dig in. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it takes a long time to dig in. It's not like in Blitzkrieg where you utilize that like a little bitch during multiplayer yeah, games. You just, you know, you have to wait. So you're, you know, and probably you can't even shoot while doing that. So very, be very careful when you use that. All in all, that's also a big, nice little. Th th those are little, you know, those are little things. Stop complaining. I'm getting there. Okay, so let's get our officer, get a clean shot at the enemy. Again, nothing here. Yeah, okay. We're gonna be moving our command thing a little bit closer. Here. Again, uh, I like that they actually uh, still the infantry moves when they need to move. Tell him to stop there. Okay, cool stuff. Great stuff, groovy stuff. So you will move a little bit closer. You have MP40, right? MG42 a little bit closer here. So if the enemy actually targets MG42, we, I mean, he will be targeted and probably killed. If not, if I succeed in pulling him back, he will lure the enemy towards our position. We might kill him. Now, I don't remember every position of the enemy. So for this mission, remember, this is only one, one mission. Shots going on to MP40, dude. MP oh, there it goes. MP40 is getting shot like a bitch. Car 98 shooting, and there are still men there. There are still men there doing crap. Remember, we have to be very careful about the enemy uh, using the tanks because if they get. Uh, as you see, he's targeting something from this side. I don't know what exactly. And then we lost the car 98. The NP40 dude is gonna die also dead. Doesn't matter. They're gonna they're there to actually just control the situation. Lure the enemy fire. As you can see there, they were there, they were hiding inside those freaking things. Now they're gonna die. Like little bitches. I'm gonna utilize my sniper because again, uh, I think that the most moments if you have a sniper and utilize him onto the officers and something like that. There it goes. A nice shot from the sniper rifle immediately sh kills a target. Let's see, that's one shot. Uh, three shots and nothing still. 
There goes another one. Nonetheless, again, remember, they cannot resupply manpower. That's a big thing. You can't, they can't, no one can. So that's a big thing. So you have to be very careful how you utilize the soldiers, how you utilize the tanks, how you utilize anything you have now. It's not anymore about you having a mass of supply trucks so can resupply your squads at any given moment. There are no officer in squads that can give you binoculars and give you vision and every single thing. There is nothing. There is only you and skills of how you utilize all this yeah. what you have. So you have two Number trucks one. that can resupply ammo. You lose these guys, yeah. you're so fucked. You're so fucked, so it's hot. unbelievable. So be careful how you utilize this. All of this. Oh, this is a repair. I'm going to repair just a little bit closer. So because maybe, maybe, I, I don't know that the enemy never attacked this position. They're going to wait for you to attack. This is yeah. mostly a defensive mission for the Soviets. But still, you want to be careful. If you want to resupply, fall back in a secure position towards your trucks. Don't move your trucks towards the enemy uh, front. Or if you're closer to the front, like here, I'm not going to move my truck towards the enemy to resupply something. We're going to move this tank, for instance, to resupply some uh, back here where it's safe. And resupply that shit. <clears throat> okay, so let's move our F2 version. Again, our best tank that we have. Stop there. Let's uh, move. Actually, let's get up with our office. You know what? Let's get up and just see what the hell we can see. I know that they have more stuff here. I'm sure of it. They have something here. Maybe a tank or five. You know, something like that. Oh, man. Something, as you can see, the freaking trees are cutting into the line of sight. Hopefully, this time around, we actually did kill um, the squads in this area. Alongside, of course, with that officer. Uh, but we'll have to check that crap out, right? We're gonna move this one MP40 <laughs> like this. Like, it's gonna be a luring thing. So we're gonna see that MP40 bastard doing his thing. Get down. Okay. As you can see, I don't really have to worry too much, I guess. And they're, again, shooting towards the enemy. There is one more dude still alive there. That's the PPSH-41. Again, uh, I don't think he will do too much damage. He did a little bit damage onto the MP40, but again, you know, he has a PPSH, not a rifle. So I'm not really expecting him to do much against us. Here. So I can see the Panzer 3 j a little bit closer to the enemy front. We have to watch for those red things you know we have to watch out for the enemy that PPSH bastard is still alive let's kill him he's moving a little bit because he's running left and right hoping to survive this but he's gonna die it would seem that he's the only one left And he's dead, it would seem. Uh, still, probably enemy has... I mean, again, th this is a sight for them towards our position. Uh, again, we have rain. Here. So, the airstrikes, again, unavailable. Classical Blitzkrieg thing. Right. I don't know what to do with this two, uh, uh, Panzer II yet. Bec uh, because, again, uh, we have enemy tanks. He's gonna be useless. He's gonna get owned by one shot and by a T-34 or BT-5 or whatever have they have here. So we have to be careful. I'm not going to utilize him now, but I will utilize him in a tighter area, an area that I know probably they do not have the AT capabilities or something like that. So let's move our officer again. See what we can see. There is an officer. There is an officer. There is a freaking officer. We can't see the tanks, but there is an officer. We kill him. We kill everything. We destroy the entire thing they have. Again, uh, too far away to Double. kill that bastard. We'll need to get a little bit closer towards the main positions here. I just hope the enemy doesn't utilize tanks against my sniper. Again, moving on my MP40 dude here just to see. If the enemy is gonna get some shots at him before my sniper arrives. Let's move our command tank. 
Okay. Getting close. Oh, we are. Whoa, we are very, we're very, very. <laughs> we are. Uh, we're very far away for shot. Very far away. Here. Oh, very far away. I'm not gonna risk this. I'm not so gonna far. risk this because I know what's gonna happen if I do. I'm gonna lose my sniper. And sniper being the very important unit I have, I'm not gonna risk that shit. Mind you, I may utilize that against the enemy AT guns that are in this some positions here somewhere. So you kill those guys, they have no AT capabilities, I can just move in with my tanks. And actually not even move around. Maybe I can go direct into the enemy village across the bridge. And just do that kind of damage like that. Nonetheless, we still don't see enemy tanks. The point is to see the enemy tanks. I know they're there, mind you. So, kind of kind of, kind of scary for me. But I'm going to still try and move and see what I can see they still don't have like anything that I can actually see yeah but I know they have tanks so <laughs> that alone is scary but again I have to F2 version so I'm gonna save Q yes okay and that's about it for this video I hope you enjoyed it it's a little bit here and there but it's awesome nonetheless all best to you